FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. Market update, and we're looking at the Dow down 126 at 42,229. That was a nice spike on the, on Friday. The nine period moving average is still very positive over the 14 period moving average. The price is just over the nine. MACD's turned down, relative strength has turned down, stochastic has turned down on balance volume, still up there, making its third almost, yeah, it's a third little wiggle to the upside. If it does four, you've got to be careful. In the meantime, holding very nicely. Look at that peak D in the weekly chart in the inside track. Repellent zone, but not breaking out, not breaking down. Just holding steady. Look at the S&P. The S&P at this particular point is up, uh, sorry, is down 18. It's come back from earlier on. But most importantly, we've got a peak C1, peak C2. I'll talk about that when we get back. Peak C3 potential right here. And this is saying that there is upside resistance. We haven't broken out yet, but it's also holding very well, not breaking down. So it's a sideways consolidation. We've been talking about that for quite a few weeks that I'm anticipating as we get into October, sideways consolidation, and we'll see if we do make lower highs and much lower lows. So far, nothing yet. Meantime, back in the ranch, QQQ, uh, down 2.43 at 484.79. Uh, this is also nine, over the nine period moving average. But the high that was made around about the 26th or so of October at a peak D was under the previous major high. And uh, that was on the 10th of July of 503.52. So you can see in the weekly chart that the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, is just in a sideways move. It hasn't broken out. But it hasn't broken down either. And that's kind of the story. If you look at the IWM, it's a little different. It's it's struggling a little bit. It's working hard. It's down $1.66 at 217.48. And that 9 period moving average is getting really close to turning down. Whoa, let me quickly get to the gold. Gold is down 6 and the bonds. And that's really the story as far as I'm concerned. Right on the 200 period exponential moving average, down 19.30 seconds. This is really not a good scene. Look at crude oil. Crude oil is up again today, up at 75. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening calls to you in a few minutes.